basic animation in Inkscape version 0.45. All right, first of all, it's important to note that animation for Inkscape uh, has been added to the roadmap, and it won't be long before these features will be part of the actual program. Until then, we have to do things manually with the aid of some other free and open source tools. For me, those include Image Magic. You can find it at imagemagic.org, uh, which I won't be using for this particular screencast, but I do use often. And SWF Tools, which you can find at swftools.org. You'll need to download SWF Tools in order to uh, follow through on this particular screencast. Basically, what an animation amounts to is making several images and then exporting the individual images out in order as frames. In our case, these frames will be PNG files. We'll then make all of these PNG files and roll them up into a single shockwave file with the, with the help of SWF tools and the PNG to SWF converter. The resulting SWF file can be placed into an HTML file if you, would, if you wish to add the uh, animation uh, to your website. So let's begin. Okay, what I've done ahead of time is set my document up by 640 by 480. So I'm going to draw a background uh, square the same size. I'll go ahead and align that on the page. Okay, next I'm going to make some text. convert this text to a path. I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to rotate this and also change the size. And we'll put it over here. Okay. Next I'm going to select both text items. Go to the effects pull down and we're going to select interpolate. I've got this set for five interpolation steps. Okay, that gives us something just like this. Okay, next we're going to write out each uh, of these uh, text uh, images out as a PNG file. So I'm going to have to hide the ones that I don't want to see. So I'll do that now. Whoops. I have to ungroup the interpolation first. Then we can grab it. And I'll just throw these behind for now. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the export. And I'm going to call this very first frame frame 1. I'm going to select everything on the page and then hit export. I'll hit undo. This time I'll get just this portion. Send it back. Send, send this back. Okay, we'll do an export again. This one will be frame number 2. Do an undo. Actually, I think I have two here. I think I have two probably over here. There we go. All right. That was frame two. Now we'll do frame three. Do an undo. Now we'll do frame four. Frame five. Do 
do frame six. Okay, we'll get frame seven. And finally for frame eight, I'm gonna hide everything, get just the background. And I'll export that, okay. Go ahead and undo that. Okay, now, if uh, you browse to where you sent your frames, you notice that I have eight frames now. You'll also notice that I've copied the PNG to swf.exe uh, converter into, into my build directory. And next we need to go ahead and convert all these PNG files to a shockwave file. We do that with this command. This command will be identical on a Linux system except that you drop off the .exe. So basically what we're telling it to do is use our PNG to SWF converter, output to the name output.swf, and we've told it to roll it up when 10 frames per second and the star.png is grabbing every every one of our PNG files. So we can go ahead and hit enter. And now we should have an, an output SWF file. And there's the animation. That can be added to an HTML file if you want to add that to your website. And that's basically how you do it. So thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.